Introduction to Deployment of Jenkins on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Jenkins deployed on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure can automate all phases of Continuous Integration, CI, and Continuous Delivery and Deployment, CD, pipelines. Jenkins supports the master-slave mode, where the workload of building projects is delegated to multiple agent nodes by the master allowing a single Jenkins installation to host multiple projects or to provide different environments needed for builds, tests. A master operating by itself is the basic installation of Jenkins, and in this configuration, the master handles all the tasks for your build system. An agent is a slave node that is set up to offload build projects from the master. Once the agent has been set up, this distribution of tasks is fairly automatic. When installed on Jenkins Master, the plugin allows you to spin up instances, slaves, agents, on demand with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and remove instances or free up resources automatically once the build job completes. Here are the steps to deploy Jenkins on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Step 1. Create a VCN with a single subnet and install Jenkins. Step 2. Now you configure the Jenkins master. Step 3. After that, you install and configure Jenkins Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute plugin. Step 4. Finally, launch the Jenkins agent nodes. Here is a quick demo of the steps involved. As a first step, you need to set up the VCN for Jenkins installation. Log into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. Create a VCN within the desired availability domain to house the Jenkins master and agent nodes. In this video, we create both master and agents in the same subnet. However, it is not necessary to have both master and agents in the same subnet. Now launch an instance in a subnet. We use this instance as our Jenkins master node. Note that it is a good practice to select a slightly smaller instance shape for the Jenkins master and larger shapes for agent nodes, as the heavy lifting of running the actual build is done by the agent nodes. In this case, we are using a VM standard 1.1 shape running Oracle Linux 7.5. Log into the instance using the public IP address and the associated SSH public key of the instance. To learn about generating the SSH key pairs, API keys and fingerprint, and other user details, refer to Oracle documentation. You can access the documentation by clicking the question mark on the top right of your console dashboard. Select Documentation. On the Documentation page, you can either search by typing your query into the search box or via the documentation tab on the right hand side. Entering a query in the search box will lead you to the search results page where you will find multiple resources listed. Let's proceed with Jenkins installation now. As Jenkins runs on Java, update the yum packages and install Java 8 on this instance by issuing the following commands. The dependencies have been installed, and the environment is ready for Jenkins installation. Install Jenkins using the following commands.
Now that Jenkins is installed, start the Jenkins service using this command. If successful, the command output looks similar to the highlighted one. By default, Jenkins listens on port TCP8080. Open this port on the instance firewall by configuring the firewall with the following commands. Now, Jenkins is configured on the instance. This instance acts as the Jenkins master node. To access this node from the outside internet, open the TCP port 8080 on the security list for the subnet, which houses the Jenkins master instance. Let's now configure the Jenkins master. On the web browser, access the Jenkins dashboard using the public IP of the instance and port 8080. You will see the Unlock Jenkins screen which displays the location of the initial password. In the terminal window, use the cat command to display the password. Copy the 32-character alphanumeric password from the terminal and paste it into the Administrator Password field. Then click Continue. Now, you have the option of installing suggested plugins or selecting specific plugins. Here we select to install the suggested plugins. The suggested plugins are installed automatically. When the installation is complete, you are prompted to set up the first administrative user. This step is optional, and you can continue as an admin using the initial password used in the previous step. Here, we proceed as admin. Next, click Save and Finish. You can now see the Jenkins is Ready confirmation screen. Click Start Using Jenkins to visit the main Jenkins dashboard. At this point, basic configuration of Jenkins Master has been successfully completed. Next, you will need to install and configure Jenkins Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute plugin. Select Manage Jenkins and click Manage Plugins. Under the Available tab, Search for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Plugin and choose Install Without Restart. Then navigate to the Manage Jenkins page and go to Configure System. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click Add a New Cloud. Then click Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute. Enter the fields with your API fingerprint, API key, user, and Tenancy OCID, which you can locate on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Click Test Connection. If all the information you entered is correct, the dialog displays Successfully Connected to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute. Now, scroll down and click Add a New Instance Template, where you specify the shape and subnets of your Jenkins agent nodes. In this video, VM Standard 2.1 instance running Oracle Linux 7.5 is selected. In the same availability domain and subnet as the Jenkins master node, click the Advanced button and configure an init script for the agent nodes. The preceding fields of remote SSH user, instance creation timeout, etc. contain default values. Agent nodes also require having Java installed on them before communicating with the master. So specify that in the init script section and then click Save. Finally, you need to launch the Jenkins agent nodes. Select Build Execution Status. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute plugin is listed here. Click the plugin and launch the agent node. You can launch multiple agent nodes by repeating the same step multiple times. Once you launch the agent node, the console displays the text as highlighted. When you go back to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, you see the slave instance being provisioned. Once the instance is fully provisioned and running, it will be listed in the Jenkins dashboard too. We have now successfully installed the Jenkins master and slave nodes. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more.
Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.